Damn it, I still have no idea how much money I will need when I am in Korea. Hello everybody! Hey guys, it's David aka Davlurito. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. Let me introduce myself. I'm David. I'm a Filipino from Germany and I'm currently living here in Seoul, South Korea and I'm studying at Songgyongwan University. And for today's video, I wanted to talk about three things. Number one, the, the process of getting the, the visa. Number two, I'll talk about financial support. Number three, I'm gonna talk about the expenses while you're living here in South Korea. <laughs> And like I just said, I am from Germany, so some parts of this video will be in German. But I got you covered. I'll have English subtitles down below. So please do not click away. Do not exit this window simply because I start speaking in another language. Because the process might be the same in your country or you might have something similar. So yeah, stay tuned. Number one will be about the visa. First of all, you're gonna check the site. You will type it in on Google, whatever, what you're using. <laughs> type in how to get Korean visa or something like no. that. Ich bin jetzt schon eine Weile hier in Korea und ich spreche fast kein Deutsch mehr. Also ich spreche hier so selten Deutsch, deshalb entschuldigt mich, falls ich komisch spreche. Ich bin, ich komme aus Stuttgart und die nächste Botschaft, zu der ich hingehen konnte, ist in Frankfurt. Deshalb musste ich dorthin, weil man kann nicht das Visum über E-Mail oder Anruf oder über die Post beantragen, sondern man muss persönlich hingehen. Ich bin dann mit dem Auto hin, dann bin ich zu der Botschaft. Das ist, was ich mitbringen musste. Man braucht einen ausgefüllten, ausgefüllten Visumbeantragung. <lacht> Man muss alles ausgefüllt haben, okay? Alles schon mal mitbringen. Nummer 2. Man braucht seinen Reisepass. Bei der Einreise muss euer, euer Reisepass muss mindestens sechs Monate gültig sein, okay? Ihr müsst ein biometrisches Passbild mitnehmen. Dann braucht ihr die originale Zulassungsbescheinigung von der Universität, an der ihr in, in Südkorea ähm, studieren werdet. Müsst ihr auch mitbringen. Die muss original sein, keine Kopie, okay? Die muss original sein. Für manche Unis, kommt drauf an, an welche Uni ihr geht, braucht ihr auch eine, eine Kopie oder einen Nachweis für eure finanzielle Absicherung während eure, eurem Aufenthalt dort in Südkorea. Für Studenten, die an die Sungyongwan Universität gehen, braucht ihr es nicht. Also ich habe es nicht gebraucht. Und seit diesem Jahr 2018 braucht ihr auch einen Handelskammerschein. Oder wie heißt das Teil? bekommt man in der Regel auch von der Uni, also von eurer Heimuni. Bis ihr euer Visum bekommt, braucht ungefähr vier bis sechs Wochen, haben sie gesagt, aber bei mir ging es nach, kam es schon nach zwei Wochen. Ihr müsst euren Reisepass dort lassen. Also falls ihr in der Zeit irgendwo hinverreisen wollt, wo ihr euren Pass braucht, denkt bitte daran, ihr werdet euren Pass dort lassen. Ihr könnt dann entweder es persönlich abholen, sobald es fertig ist, oder ihr, lasst, ihr bringt einen frankierten Umschlag mit. Diese Sicherung, ich habe vergessen, wie das heißt. Auf jeden Fall mit der Sicherung, nicht die normale, nicht einen normalen Frankierenschein, sondern da, wo ihr das mitverfolgen könnt. Oh, ich kann nicht mehr Deutsch sprechen. <lacht> da, wo ihr unterschreiben müsst, wenn ihr es bekommt. Auf jeden Fall, bitte informiert euch selbst, ihr seid alt genug. <lacht> genau, das Visum, das Visum, heißt es, das, die, der Visum, das Visum, das Visum, glaube ich. Das Visum kostet euch nichts, also das ist schon mal gut. Okay. That was a lot of German. I hope you guys kind of understood what I was saying. Just to make it short, if you have to get a visa, which you probably will have to if you're not a Korean citizen, call and write email before you go to the embassy. And um, yeah, just do your research basically. I'm just helping you guys with this. I have, I have a link for the form that I used to um, get my visa. So moving on, number two, financial support. I will start speaking in German and then in English because this is just a short part. In my Fall. Ach, ich kann euch nicht die Geschichte erzählen, die ist viel zu lang. Aber auf jeden Fall, meines Wissens nach, das auslands beantragen oder für DAAD, für ein Stipendium. Bitte macht da eure Recherche selbst. Was ich euch sagen kann ist, für das auslands müsst ihr euch auf jeden Fall mindestens sechs Monate vorher ähm, schon mal bewerben. Für das DAAD-Stipendium gilt es ein Jahr vorher und macht da eure Recherche, weil, say, I don't know what system it is that you have in your country. I do not get social, I don't get financial support while I'm studying here. Oh, How I am 
financially um, supporting myself is I worked before I came here and I'm basically living off of my savings. Ah, and also for those who were wondering, you're allowed to work part-time jobs after six months. So, wow, you have to be prepared for the first six months. This part will all be in English, yay, no more subtitles. This part is the third part, woo! I'm gonna talk about the expenses while you're living here in Korea. And of course, this is not official, I have not any proof to you guys that this is really it. This is all based on my experience and I asked some of my friends. So don't make this a general rule, okay? Again, I'm I'm studying at, at Songyongwan University. Songyongwan University has two campuses. One in Seoul and one in Suwon. So these are two different campuses, if you didn't know. The dorm cost is, per sem in Seoul, you pay 1,600 US dollars. In Suwon, it's the same price per sem. But that's without a meal plan. If you want a meal plan in Suwon, it costs 1,900 USD. Um, in Seoul, there is no such thing as meal plan. I'm not staying at the dorm. <laughs> if you're gonna stay at an apartment, I'll have to say that to apartments here in Seoul, around 500,000 Korean won per month. So yeah, you just have to outweigh it. Would you rather stay in a dorm or find a, a, an apartment for yourself or there are other other ways to stay here you can go to Gojiwon's hostels or whatnot just do your research okay i i cannot really tell you that much about those things because i have no experience it's more i only know about apartment and dorm the next thing would be transportation which is very very important the public transportation here in korea is very good you can take the subway you can take the bus you can take taxis taxis here are not that expensive will be maybe between two to ten euros that's it but it might be difficult if you cannot speak any korean you might have problems but you know it, it still works you'll need a t-money card get that once you are at the airport that is a very very essential thing to, while you're living here in korea so get a t-money card load it up at least 10,000 won it's not a subscription thing so you have to load that card up and every time you take a subway or a bus you have to like tap it and you pay so it's not a like a monthly thing that you load on and then you can go unlimited that's not what it is and the cost for you per month for your t-money card for your transportation will be around i want to say 60 to 100 thousand won if in your country it's cheaper to buy stuff at the groceries and to cook by yourself at home or in the dorm whatever it's not the case here if you are on a budget i'm telling you guys it's much better to eat out because if you're going to buy groceries just getting your essentials at the groceries for three days you're already gonna spend around I would say 50 to 60 euros so eat out especially in university Songyongwan University at Seoul campus just have your lunch and dinner there if you're living near that area because if you eat there at on campus there are several canteens or cafeterias 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 on Seoul campus and they have good food and it's cheap it's just like between three three to five thousand won meaning it's around two to four euros that you're paying for a meal and it's a decent meal it's like big so you get this and then you come to this counter where you can get unlimited ki well not really unlimited but free kimchi and what's this one called the yummy gumdrop i think it's it's cheaper to eat out here in korea than just than to buy stuff and cook it yourself at home but you be the judge of that once you come here but i'm just letting you guys know also for men where do i start I don't know shampoo or what whatever it is like all of those products for men i personally find them more expensive here in korea than they are in germany so for example i have this like moisturizing cream and like facial scrub it's usually are between three to five euros in germany and here when i looked at the stuff that i'm usually getting back in germany it starts at eighteen thousand, even thirty two thousand won which is too expensive it's like 50 between 15 and 28 euros so just for all the guys letting you know toiletries for men here are just more expensive so my suggestion for you guys is just to bring enough toiletries deodorants etc for the first month you say you're saying david i still have no idea how much 
money I will need when I am in Korea. Let us bring that all together. Number one, we will... I'm rounding everything up and I'm saying it in euros, okay? Number one, living expenses. Let's say if you're in the dorm, you're gonna pay 1,500 for the whole SEM. Or if you find an apartment, you're gonna pay 500 euros every month. Number two, you will need the T money card. You're gonna spend 100 euros per month for transportation. For your food, it really depends on you, so I'm not gonna take that um, in the, the equation. For your expenses to experience Korea while you're here, for all the entry entrance fees and like, I don't know, stuff that you're gonna do while you're here. I don't know what your hobbies are, but I'm just gonna say from my experience, like clothing that I need, toiletries, beauty products, and fun stuff you do with friends when you go out. I just summed it up and I'm gonna say you're gonna spend about 150 to 200 euros for all of those things with this much. I know I'm a bit all over the place. I hope you guys still learned something and I could help you. If you have any questions, any suggestions for future videos concerning my studies here in Korea or maybe you want to know also about my studies in Germany. I'm a student at Tübingen University. Just put it in the comments down below and make sure to check out my vlogs here in Korea. You'll learn a lot there you will see a lot of things that I'm doing here in Korea or things that I experienced. So maybe some of your questions will be answered in those vlogs already. <sighs> and of course, subscribe and like this video. It's going to help me a lot. So other than that, I wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you may be. See you soon. Adios. Umay.